Hi everyone, it's Mary Ann. Welcome to Happy Paper People. So I just wanted to um, share this with you. Last night we uh, did an impromptu live and we were all just playing around and I was playing on my jelly plates and at the very end um, when it was time to go I had a lot of paint, a lot of crusties on my um, gel plates that were sitting here. So I said that the way that I get that off is to put a good layer of paint on it and then put a piece of um, light cardstock. It could be heavy cardstock, but not thin paper. The thin paper will just stick to it and then separate, in my experience. But um, a light cardstock uh, works just fine. So put that on, uh, burnish it on really well, and then let it sit overnight, and then come by, uh, the next morning and peel it off. And that is the way that I clean the gel plates uh, completely, and uh, it just pulls off all the crusties. So I pulled these two off already, but I wanted to share them with you, and I've got two more still to pull off, actually three. And that's the third one is the reason why I wanted to um, film this and, and show you. So halfway through it, and I thought, oh, I, I, I need to share this. So this was my round one, and you can just see, you can see all the crusties on the edge. I mean, you can see how thick that is, how thick that paint is, and just crusty on the edge. And that's how I get all the paint up off my, um, uh, off my gel plate, and it works every time. So that was the round one, and then this was um, uh, some of the smaller ones. And just I mean, look at all that crusty on the edge that just that just comes right up everything that the plate is clean. So this is the one that um, made me flip on my camera. So this pulled off of this side, which is nice and clean now. Doesn't look clean, but that's because it's the other side. So this was actually a piece of calligraphy paper. And the calligraphy paper is um, a very, very thin. It's thinner than copy paper. Um, you know, kind of delicate, but um, perfect for gel printing on if you want to be able to tear it up to collage. It's perfect for that. So when I put it on, uh, I left it sit there for a, a minute too long while I was talking. And when I peeled it up, it actually just split the paper in half. And <clears throat> even that thin and half of the paper stayed on the gel plate. So I just flipped it over and started using the other side. But I come back this morning and I peeled the other side up and then I went to look at this side to see um, what I'm gonna do, just soak it in water or what I'm gonna do. And I looked at it and it actually is doing the same thing that the thicker paper does and it's um, starting to come up. So I started to peel this up and I just wanted to share that with you. So um, I don't know if the whole, I don't know, I doubt it's going to come up clean, but I thought it was pretty darn cool that this super thin um, paper, it, it was, which is split in half, so it's super, super thin, was going to just peel up like this, and it's just cleaning the gel plate just like the other paper does. But I thought it'd be cool if I could get it up because it'd be very thin, and then that would be really great for gel plating. So. Um, I can see that there are tons of cracks here. So because of that, I know that it's not going to come up as a whole piece because everywhere there's a crack, that means the paper is torn or cracked, separated. So, But I can get some really nice pieces like this. That's a really pretty and will be um, good for collaging. And it's cleaned my gel plate. So I was hoping that maybe it would come up in bigger pieces, but I can see with all the cracks, it's just not going to. But let's see what we get. Just wanted to share that with you because I have never had, actually I've never left a, it was, um, I, I've never left a half a piece of paper, at, you know, split in half on there overnight. I've always, if that has happened, I've just taken it and gone and cleaned it off. Um, right away, but but why wouldn't it act just like the other paper does? Um, it's it's really delicate because it is 
half thickness of a thin piece of calligraphy paper, so it's uh, delicate to begin with. But look at that, the corners are always a super crusty thick place, and that is just absolutely clean. So I love how that worked. Much more difficult to take off than a piece of this um, thin cardstock, so not something I would want to do purposefully all the time, but it is cool how it is coming off, and it's really, the colors are really gorgeous. Yeah, there's um, a layer of uh, a purple, it's like a, a dark lavender, and <clears throat> this is metallic gold. That's really pretty. <clears throat> yeah, see, this is kind of laborious getting this on, so I wouldn't normally want to do that, but yeah, little teeny tiny pieces. I would rather have some big ones, but it is cool how it is cleaning off the plate, but I'm anxious to take off these last two and see what I get with those. So yeah, so if you've, if you've had difficulty getting the crusties and all those little bits off your plates and you don't like having to take them and soak them and clean them in that way, um, then that's what I do. When I'm finished, I just put a layer of paint on it, put down a, a thin cardstock or a medium cardstock, actually any cardstock will work, just not, not like copy paper. Copy paper will often separate just like this calligraphy paper did. Um, but a cardstock, just let it sit overnight. Come back the next morning, and those peel up nicely, as you can see by these other two I got. They peel up really nicely and pull everything with them. Okay, some of this is not going to be salvageable. Maybe if I'd had a piece of paper with some collage gel on it already, I could have just taken these and set it on there and kind of press it on, but not really worth that kind of trouble. I don't believe the crusty edges all came up whole, and those will make very cool pieces to work with, so. All right. Maybe I'll just pull these other two so you can see the other two. Let's see if they clean the plates up as nicely as the first two did, and then I can come back and work on this. It's coming up easily enough. I'm just being so careful not to um, grab it with my fingernail and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, grab part of the gel plate and make a hole. So being careful with that. And they're little bitty pieces because it had cracks all over it. But they're coming up super easily. And that um, was the nice thing. You know, just bending the gel plate like this, the edges come right up. So this is even easier than washing it. It takes a minute to do it, but takes a minute to do it, but it is super easy and it comes up clean. And uh, I don't mind starting uh, gel plating with crusties on it. I like the grungy bits that get on the next um, prints. But I was just thinking as, as I sat down to do this, I was thinking how it's interesting that some people like starting with those grungy bits on their plate and some people like starting with a clean, fresh, 100% um, clean gel plate. And so then I was thinking, well, which do I like? Uh, both. <laughs> both. It depends. Um, it depends what I'm doing. If I'm going to do something specific and, you know, want specific uh, colors and uh, or trying a specific technique, then I often want the clean gel plate to start so there's no interference. And um, if I am just playing, then I love the grungy bits on it because they add all kinds of dimension and texture and color, uh, even flecks of color 
you know, to what I'm doing. This is really coming up nice and cleanly. It's just um, very uh, tedious to do. So I, <laughs> I said, think I'll set it aside and come back to it. And then I keep pulling because it's coming up so easily. So I will do that. I'll set it aside here. I want to pull these two so that you can see these two right here. And I do find that I need to pull very gently, very carefully, because typically there's a lot of layers of paint and there's a lot of grunge on the edges and on the corners. And if you just grab it and pull up fast, then um, that grunge separates because it's very thick. If it's a very thin layer, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's a thin layer, then it's really no big deal because it just comes right up with it. Hmm. Interesting what that is. Well, that's kind of cool. I can see a couple of layers back, actually several layers back. There's metallic gold, and there's turquoise, and there's black, and there's a magenta, and then this is that um, Arteza um, color changing. It's actually iridescent. Um, I think this is the glowing peach and it's the bottle looked pink so I used it hoping for pink and it actually looks pink but look at the edge you can see those crusties just standing up along, along here <coughs> and on this edge too but uh, by pulling it up really really slowly it pulled all the layers, everything around the edge and everything, all the corners. So that's what I was looking for there. Okay, let's check this one out. This one had lots and lots of layers. Lots of layers, man, that is so thick. You can see it even going around the edge. That's where it becomes really difficult because when the paint goes around the edge, um, this has been sitting and adhering to the paint on the top and the paint around the edge hasn't had any paper on it. So the paint around the edge can pull, it is so thick. The paint around the edge can stay attached to the gel plate and pull, um, the top paint with it so um, it is difficult to do when the paint goes around the edge so if you don't get a clean pull you might look at the plate and see is there paint down the edge down the side of the plate um, and that's probably why so I think part of this is going to come up nice and clean and part of it is going to um, stay because I can see, and I didn't even notice that last night, but I can see that it is, um, there's a lot of paint just barely over the edge. And that's just enough to stay attached and make the, whatever's on the top edge, hang on to it. I'm trying to help get it started. Sometimes if you can get it started, then the rest of it will stay attached to it as well. And I might have to just, as I go along here, hang on to it so that it doesn't just pull off every time it comes to a spot where it goes over the edge, it wants to pull it away from the paper because it is more stuck to the plate than the paper. But by coming along carefully, grabbing that edge, I can pull, pull it off the top and the, it's stuck to the edge. That's why it's trying to pull it off the paper. But by coming along and helping it, I can pull, by holding on to it, I, it pulls up what's on the edge to come up with the top 
instead of the edge pulling the top over the edge. I hope that makes sense. It's a little early. <laughs> of course, I got up and was real excited and wanted to come in here and see what I got, so it's still a little early. <clears throat> Oops. Pulled that a little too far, didn't hang on to it. But I can salvage it there, go back and grab it. corner is all over the edge and that edge is really really crusty so um, there's a lot that's very rough a lot on the edge there just hung on to it so I probably should have been a little more careful about it going over the edge but you know gel plating is not something I do so that I have to be careful <laughs> it's something that I play at and really enjoy. Sometimes I just want to throw a paint around and see what happens. Sometimes it's about something specific and sometimes it's just about playing, letting the creativity out after been working all day or something. And see some of those crusty edges will come off. See how that there's get this on the top and get this whole piece on, down the side. They're all attached. So that'll separate from the side. So I'll probably either peel those off the side or take it out and wash it just um, to get those off of the side so that next time at least the side is starting clean. Otherwise, the top will adhere to it again. Paint sticks to the paint, no matter how many layers. There we go. Yeah, and you see that right over the edge, and that's a huge, it's like a little crusty berm, a little crusty curb. Oh, there's a lot on the side here. Hopefully I can hang on to it, and the side will come with me instead of Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yep, able to keep that on the paper. And that's standing up like half an inch. All right. This was interesting. I'd never used this color. And um, this is Arteza Shocking Lime Green. Um, the color changing or iridescent and I noticed on when I was watching the watching YouTube on the TV it did not show up the same color as I was seeing here but it is very shocking um, very lime it's almost chartreuse I'd probably if I just saw it I'd probably call it chartreuse but it is um, very bright very shocking was a good it's a good word to put in there. I'm trying to make sure I don't lose a corner here as I get excited and then just peel the whole thing off. There we go. Go back to the top. And the other thing is to peel really slowly. If you peel quickly, it's going to stay on the plate for sure. It's going to stay attached to the plate because that's what was its first and um, it's the mold onto it. But if you pull it very slowly, it has a chance to stay attached to the paint, therefore stay attached to the paper. So yeah, look at some of this crusty along, along the side here, standing clear up. So this was getting not only the whole crusty edge that just went right over the edge, but then all the way down the side stuck. <clears throat> and that whole top there, you can see where that went down over the side over the side too and it just picked up all of that so that's pretty darn cool I can see a bunch of layers on that one too um, there's uh, some of that turquoise and there's uh, the purple and green and some black and some gold I think I even see some rose gold or copper in there so and that's a, a pretty clean plate there's a, a few like this corner 
went down here and uh, stayed attached, but I might be able to get this corner up. This would be a really cool just piece of Grimview paint to have. It won't come up as one hole, but it'll come up as parts and pieces. So that's all I wanted to show you was um, just, and you know, bring you along to pulling off the, the papers from the gel plates after sitting overnight because some of you um, said you hadn't done that before. So I wanted you to see how that works. So this one was extra thick, but it's not really the thickness that left some of these grungies behind, although that does affect it. A lot of it was what was going down over the edge and that um, it, the more that there is over the edge, the harder it is to pull. But yeah, clean your plates, put a, put a um, layer of paint down, put a piece of thin cardstock on, let it sit overnight, and um, come back and pull it the next morning. Love this one. So many colors and so much grunge around the edge. It's so much texture on this one because of the grunge and the cracks. So that's pretty neat. So I um, hope that uh, shows you how to... To do that, if you haven't done it before, give it a try. It's sure a whole lot easier than taking it to the sink and cleaning it. Have the rest of a great day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.